This is a demonstration of the ESP demo in the Intelligent Equipment Accelerator. ESP stands for Electric Submersible Pump, which is a piece of equipment that's used as part of oil and gas production. I'm going to log into the accelerator here, and you can see the dashboard comes up with a series of wells uh, with a map showing their location. I'm going to go ahead and start a use case here. Uh, these are all the same recorded data sets, but we can choose how the data is delivered over different channels. Uh, we can choose over OPC UA, JMS, MQTT. I'm just going to pick the default, which is a direct connection. I'll go ahead and start this. And now you can see we've got some uh, intake pressure and motor ramps data is flowing through the system at this point. Everything's green right now, but what we're interested in is a pattern that we would have found as part of a historical analysis. So you can see here uh, we have uh, one particular well selected. We've got um, the uh, motor ramps in green and the intake pressure in blue and you can see that there's a pattern occurring where uh, the motor ramps is dropping and the pressure is rising at the same time followed by a failure so as part of our analysis we decide we want to look for that pattern and when that pattern occurs we're going to want to raise some alerts so that data is going to flow through here and about three o'clock in the afternoon this well is going to show that pattern occurring so you can see we've got some Red boxes now on the screen. Our pressure has now uh, risen up uh, above 650 uh, pascals, kilopascals, and our uh, motor amps has dropped below uh, 15 amps. If I go and select that well now, we can go in and look at the details of that. Uh, you can see the pattern where the pressure is rising and then the motor amps has dropped. We have a number of alarms that have been raised here, including this one, which says ESP potential failure. And that's detected the pattern of this rise and this drop occurring at the same period of time. The situation is cleared now, but our alarms are still active. And we can see that on this uh, table here that summarizes uh, the current state. We can go ahead and take some actions in this UI. We can right click this and say, mark as reviewed. That will change the action status. We can also go ahead and send a notification to operations. And we're going to do that directly within the UI, a high priority, uh, please investigate message. And that would get set straight through. Um, we can also mark this as a monitor well, which would uh, give it a certain status. And what we can do is we can filter this list uh, to only show the monitor well so that we can focus in on the ones that are most of interest. Now, this is an HTML5. Uh, live dashboard that we're looking at here, but we can also look at this details within uh, Spotfire as well. And this is a fully live dashboard. Also, if I go ahead and select that same well and then click the display button, it brings up the data and you can see the, the same historical chart that we were looking at in the web UIs here as well. Mm -hmm.